Hello everyone, I am Raghav and today we are going to see how can we use extent reports with TestNG. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse and here is the project that we have been creating in our earlier sessions and I will go to the test package and this is the class that we created in our last session where we learned about extent reports and this was the basic demo of how to use extent reports in a selenium java framework now just in case you have not watched it i will recommend that you go to my channel automation step by step on youtube and if you go to this playlist for selenium java framework you can watch this particular video for where i have uh, discussed on how to use extent reports in selenium java framework so I will also have the link of this playlist in the description of this video so you can go from there and now we will see how to use it with TestNG so I will go to my browser and I will go to Google and say extent reports and the very first option I will get is this extentreports.com I will go here this is the official website for extent reports and here I am not covering the part of adding the extent reports because that we have already covered in our last session so you can watch that if you are uh, if you have come here without watching that you can go there where I have discussed how to add extent reports in your Java uh, program and how to add into Eclipse and now we will go to documentation and here I will go to the latest version which is version 3 and go to Java so here I will go to examples here and here you can see this was the last example that we used in our earlier session and then we also have example for TestNG now here what I will do is I will show you a very simple and quick way to add extend reports in a TestNG program so let me go to my framework here Eclipse and I will create a new class under this package so I will go to new and say class and I will say this is extent reports demo with test ng and finish it and here we have got this class so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create simple functions so first function will be for setup I will say public void setup and then I will create a function for teardown public void teardown and that's it so setup is something that should run before our test runs to do the setup teardown is something that should run after our test has run for doing all the teardown and then in between of these I will say I will create a function for test I will say public void I will say this is test one so here I will write the code for my first test case okay so now you can see we have got these three simple functions and now I am going to use the test ng annotation so here I will say at before test and if I say control space bar it has auto completed it and you can also see it has imported this from test ng this I will say is at test and it is asking me to import so I will import from test ng annotations and then this is after test okay now here one thing to note is when I say before test then this setup or whatever is there in this function will run before every test and after test this will run after every test however if in case we have multiple test cases and we want the setup to run just once before all the test cases and after test to run just once after all the test cases I can also use before suite here so this will run only once before all the test cases and here I will say after suite okay and this will run only once after all the test cases have completed now here in this case if we are having a single function or a single test then it does not make any difference if you say before test and after test or before suite and after suite but if you have multiple tests then of course it will make a difference so I'm using before suite and after suite and then test now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use 
the same example that we used earlier so this was the basic ex usage example for extend reports and here I will show you how exactly we can make its use with testng so I am just going to copy this code which was for creating extend report and I will copy this from here and go and put it in my setup okay and I am selecting everything by pressing ctrl A and I will say ctrl I for making the identification proper if you are on Mac you will say command A and command I and here you can see I have this code written and I will just import everything so one shortcut is you can press ctrl shift and O on your keyboard or command shift plus O on Mac and it will get all the relevant imports so you can see all the errors are now gone okay so here I have just initialized extend HTML reporter and then extend reports and then extend.attach reporter which we have already seen earlier here so in the last session we have done the same thing but that was it within the same function everything was there now we are using testng and then in the test I can say so here I can start this test create test and then I will use all the uh, loggers for test and I will use it within the test so I will add this here and again I will say control and control I for making the identification proper and yes now here again I have to import so I will say command or shift or control shift O and it will import all these things now here you can see it is using extent which is within this particular uh, function so I have to make it globally available so what I will do is all these things I can make it as a class variable so that they are available globally I will say keep this here and I can remove extend HTML reporter from here same thing I will do for this extent I will copy and paste it here and from here I can remove this and let me ident it again and now yes so now this is fine okay now I can write all the loggers for test one within this particular function which is our test function so I will go back again and just copy this all the log test log test info and all these things until here okay so until here I'll just copy it and go back and paste it in my function I'm just removing the um, comments so actually it is good to have comments and don't remove your comments I'm just removing it so that it is less cluttered and you can understand everything properly okay and again I have some imports so again I will press con control shift and O and it is asking me which import you want to get here and I will say this one and again for this so this is actually asking me to add throws declaration or try catch I will just add throws declaration and don't worry I will explain you these things in the coming sessions for now we just have to create a test ng uh, program with extent reporting included okay and here that's it and now so this is the test now of course here we are just using the extent reports logger functions we are not actually creating our test but that is fine as of now we just need to understand this and then we can also add our test statements here or the code for our test and now after suite we have to flush the report so this particular statement which was for flushing the report which is very important I will use inside teardown okay now also in teardown we can also use other things like if you have opened some database connections and you want to close them you can use all those functions here but for now for this particular demo which is on extent reports I am just using extent.flush okay and you can see this was the earlier report that we created in our earlier session and if I open this one and let us say open with system editor which is chrome in my case the default browser and I will go to this dark theme so you can see this was the report we created earlier which was not using testng and now we are using testng and we should get a similar report so I will right click and now I will run as testng test so you can see the testng report here and also the report name we gave was extend.html here and it is not yet available so if I refresh the project now I will do a right click and say refresh you can also press F5 on your keyboard and you can see the extend.html is here 
I will again open it with the Chrome browser so you can see it is here and again I can go to the dark theme and you can see it here and this is the dashboard and of course if you have multiple tests so let us say I have a, another test I will just copy this again and paste it here and I will name this as test2 and here let me just make it as pass so that we have a failure and a pass combination and now again I can run this so you can see how easier it is now to just add keep on adding test cases and you can run it and you will get extend reports and I will again go to my extend reports and browser and refresh it and now you can see we have got two test cases so one is fail other one is pass you can get all the details here and we have already seen all the options that we have we have the filter here we have the time here we have the start and time the duration here and if we go to the um, dashboard you can see all the summary of our test here as well this is for test so there were two tests one pass and one fail this is the number of steps so you can see one failed and then pass and then this is the information steps and then all the other information is here okay now of course here I can use my um, test statements like we have done earlier so if I just go here and here let me use this in the setup I will say copy from here so this is for starting the Chrome browser I can put it in the setup or let me put it here I will initialize or I will define web driver and here it is I will import it from org open QA okay and then inside my test I can do all the actions that I have done earlier so I can say driver dot get https google.com and here I will log so it should come below because we have we are defining our extend test here so it should come below this and then after this I can log test.log or test.pass and navigate it to google.com and similarly I can keep on adding all my uh, statements and I will keep on adding my extent report logger statement and then I will run this let me use another function public void before test and here actually I have already used it here so let me just copy it from here yeah before test I will copy it from here and put it inside my class here and I do not need it here and now here in the before test I am setting the project path setting the browser which is chrome driver and here I am just going to the driver or uh, going to the website and in the uh, after test I can close this so again if I go to my earlier test ng demo so again this I have taken from here so in this test ng session we have discussed how to create this test ng class so if I go to after test I will use this tear down test I will copy this go back to my extend reports demo with test ng and paste it here so here we are doing the driver.close and then driver.quit and everything let me run this again now run as test ng test so here it goes to it has now closed as well and actually it has failed so there was a mistake I have to use https colon google.com and now you can see I have done this uh, in the test one I am going to this and here in the after test I am doing driver.close driver.quit and then test completed successfully and after suite I am doing extent.flush okay so if I 
run this now I will say run as test ng test it will open Chrome browser go to google.com and now close it it was very fast but if you go to our uh, reports and see you can see this so here we are seeing navigated to google.com so everything is now getting into our reports okay so this is how you can use test ng and extend reports together i hope this session was very useful for you if you like the session please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel on this channel i keep on adding videos related to automation testing devops and ci i will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching